Yo, what is up people? It is your boy, Sneakers right here. I hope you guys had a fantastic day today. Um, I just wanted to start off this video just with a little intro just to say to you guys to have a good Christmas. Um, I won't be uploading after this until at least Friday probably. Um, obviously it's Christmas so I'm going to want to spend time with my family and uh, obviously my girlfriend and everything. So, you know, I want obviously time, like I said, just with family in general. So, you know, I, I'm going to guess you guys will understand that. So obviously for the next couple of days I won't be doing anything. Um, I might maybe do a recording or two, who knows, but I won't be uploading. Uh, until Friday anyways maybe Thursday I don't know for sure maybe who knows um, but obviously this video that you're going to watch now is the last one at least until Friday um, but like I said if not Thursday um, if you're lucky anyways so we'll see what happens um, again I can't guarantee it but yeah so I just want to obviously wish you guys a good Christmas um, I would say good new year but I'm going to see you obviously before then uh, but I wish you a good new year in time but yeah so have a good Christmas um, hope you get what you want and uh, yeah just Enjoy it, be happy, spend time with your family, and I'll see you guys obviously in the next video. Um, like I said, mainly Friday, but possibly Thursday. But yeah, so take care and peace. Okay, so welcome back to obviously more career mode with MK Dons. Of course, the first game, if you remember, in the last video, we actually lost to Watford. Um, I would say a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, as I did say. It was the whole banner thing, I don't know what it was, it was the green banners on the side that kind of put me off in the whole game. Um, even though I was the better side, um, it just, that was kind of an off-putting thing. So that's just my opinion anyways, I'll let you decide what you think, um, whether you think that's a good reason or not, um, but it is what it is. So, our first game though of this video, and back onto it, onto this Premier League, we are up against uh, Premier League uh, opposition, obviously a tough Premier League opposition of Arsenal, it's our first time against them in this uh, career mode that I've done with MK Don, so obviously me being an Arsenal fan in real life, it's going to be cool to play this, so hopefully we can thrash them, I don't know, it depends, they haven't really been doing great either, um, but we'll see what we can do, obviously it's still going to be a tough team uh, to come up against, so um, yeah, and it is what it is, so let's hopefully we can win that. And of course, just to uh, announce, obviously just before we do get into our first game against Arsenal, um, I have listed up three players uh, for transfer list, so Callum Britton, finally I've decided to let him go, maybe get a different younger player in, um, he's 23, still young enough, but um, I want to get someone maybe different in, maybe anyways, hopefully, um, if not, well, I'm happy with the two right backs that I do have, actually have there at the moment, um, then Sildero, probably shockingly, you know, I love Sildero, but at the age of 29, it's probably time to probably let him go, and I want to cash in on him at £27 million, I don't really want to miss out on that much. Um, and obviously I did actually go to see uh, what sort of wage he would actually want I was going to actually offer him a new contract of maybe another couple of years on top of his uh, deal that he has um, but he's actually asked for £67,000 a week which I'm fine with doing but I'm not because he's 29 he's now getting onto the age where I just think no nah, I'm not going to give you that much um, and obviously where he complains that he hasn't played that he isn't playing much every week which I don't really understand that because obviously he's in the team every time um, but yeah, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to let him go, see if I can get a good you know, 30 million for him and we'll bring someone else in, hopefully, uh, for his replacement. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. And then Miranda, just a young 19-year-old Spanish midfielder who I thought would be a good player. And he's not too bad, he, he's alright, but I just thought, you know, maybe it's probably best to, to let him go. I've got other players in that role, so, um, I mean, it's only loan, but uh, it's best to let him go for now. And uh, hope he develops a little bit, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I just want to let you guys know about that. And yeah, let's go ahead with the Arsenal game. Let's get the three points, hopefully, there. First three points in the Premier League. Um, it'd be weird against Arsenal if it was to be. Um, but yeah, so that's it. And then we'll see what happens with the transfer. Sadilek. On Sadilek. Oh. That's it. Good stuff. Back off. Oof. First real decent chance there. Come on. Oh! Fucking hell. A ball in there. Jesus, there's a lot of trouble for Arsenal. Dakar! Jesus. Just can't seem to finish, man. Can't do it. Okay, so it's in, in a nil-nil draw. It's not... I didn't do it on purpose. You know, of course I want to beat the team I support, but... Honestly, that was a hard game. It was very hard to break them down. Um, kind of the same with them. They couldn't really do much against me, to be fair. Um, but yeah, the, 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 you know, obviously the points are shared. 
that's all that matters really I guess you know it's better than nothing we have 15 shots seven tight they couldn't do anything but it's a point it's our first point in the Premier League we just have to move on from that not gonna be an easy game to come up against and that's it so yeah not much position we had 53 percent but it could have been better um, could have been worse you know but there you go so yeah nil nil it's a point okay so after a nil nil draw with Arsenal at the Emirates not a great result but not bad against a team like Arsenal of course so it's good to get off to the start in the Premier League obviously we lost our first game as you know against Watford um, but then obviously drew nil nil with uh, Arsenal so still haven't scored yet in our first two Premier League games but hopefully in this game against Palace at home we'll be able to do that so hopefully to get a good win hopefully in this one and uh, yeah so let's go for these three points let's see what we can do in this one put in from the wide area only partially away from danger oh Oh, oh Jesus! Get it! I can't get it out. I literally couldn't get it out. I was pressing the button, everything. Jesus Christ, man! Oh, for fuck's sake, really? What a save! I mean, seriously, oh. tackled the guy and he still gets past. Oh, that's it. Go on, and Bergen's there. How? How have I not scored that? I do not know. Oh, what a hit from Sadelek. Left foot screamer there. I thought it going top bin. On his weaker foot, I think that is. What a hit. He's dipping and everything. Been all over pass, just can't seem to get that goal. Struggling so much. Oh my. How have I not scored that? Wow, man. Go on, Enketia for one nil. Oh my! Oh my God! I mean, I've absolutely ripped Crystal Palace apart in this game. But goal-wise, no, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. FIFA, this is unbelievable. <laughs> That's absolutely fucking embarrassing. I've never ever dominated teams so much in my life. I've got one of down to Palace. They've had nothing. Absolutely. Well, they had stuff in the first half, but that should have got. But luckily, got away. He does a little scroll over and then fucking. That's it. Sevilla's got to be doing. Computer keepers got to be doing better than that. Much better. That's absolutely disgraceful. But I shouldn't be one of them. No way. Absolutely no way. Wow. You know what? I, I do this quite a lot, but honestly. Don't deserve it, don't deserve to lose at all. I accept the what for one in the end, obviously in the last video. Even though we had the panels and yeah, I do have a bit of a reason. Drew nil nil of Arsenal, kind of expect that sometimes. But then this one, absolutely dominated. They don't even, you know what, looking at the stats, I don't even, the stats don't even show really to be honest. I mean, it shows I've dominated a lot. Obviously more, more all, all over them, but I think I have more than that. It feels like anyways, but. Incredible, one incredible game in terms of me. I should have won the, uh, you know, easily. I'd go for 3 1 easily, very easily. But yeah, so we, <laughs> you know what, we move on to the next game. I don't know what else to say on that. That's incredible. <sighs> okay, so we have sold uh, Britain um, for 1.6 million pounds. We get 1.2 million of that, uh, so that's all good. So he's gone to Gremio, surprisingly. I've all I didn't think he goes to the Brazilian league, but it is what it is. Um, we've also off been offered £30.2 million from Atletico Madrid for Sildero, which is very decent. So it looks like I'm going to accept that as well. Um, we could ask between 32.4 and 47.5. No, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and negotiate a deal. So we'll see if I can get a better deal. Okay, so we've managed to... It's not much. I mean, I, I asked for £35 million. Obviously, he's talking about playing hardball and whatever. I wasn't because Sildare is a decent player. As much as I'd love to keep him, but getting on a bit, wouldn't mind the money. Bringing someone uh, maybe a bit better or whatever. But uh, the good thing is going to a different country as well, so I won't be playing against them unless I'm against them in the Champions League, Europa League, whatever in the near future. Um, but yeah, so Sildare looks to be going for £33 million pounds, uh, on 25 grand a week. So hopefully we can get someone in that will replace him. Um, but we'll have to get the money obviously first. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with him. Okay, so the good news, we have sold Sildero for £33 million, pounds, and so the board has allocated £29 million pounds to the transfer budget, which is awesome. So Sildero has finally gone, even though he was my star player, he helped me out a lot, 
so I do thank him a lot. Um, over the years, obviously, some stunning goals and everything, but is what it is. Now we can have that money, obviously, go towards uh, other uh, 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 another decent player, hopefully. So I'll do some searching on my transfer uh, on my transfer list. So hopefully we can see on well, my short list, should I say. Hopefully we can see there's someone decent to get. But yeah, so it's all good. Okay, so just to come back on transfer news uh, before we get into our next game, we're actually going to play one more game um, in this video. Um, well, we've actually only played two, so um, but I'll tell you who that is in a bit. We've got in our next game, um, but we signed this guy. So 20 years old, he's been on my radar for quite a while. Um, I think a while, anyways. He's been on there, anyways. Um, I've seen him before. That's pretty decent, uh, young as well. So 20 years old, uh, Hungarian as well. So a bit of a different nation there. I uh, can play centre attack in the field, right mid and centre mid. Um, and we've offered £40,000 a week. Um, it's not an incredible difference compared to what Sildero wanted, which is 67000 I mean, it's still 27000 cheaper, of course. Um, but £40,000 a week. Uh, so he's one of my expensive uh, players in terms of wages. Um, and we spent £25 million on him, which is, again, a lot of money. But it's pretty decent. £25 million, um, considering... Um, we sold Sildero for 33 million, so we're still at 7 million pounds of Sildero's transfer still there, which is still decent. So it's all good. Done some good business to replace him. Um, even though I've got players that can play in that position, but we need someone, again, decent as well. It looks good. 20 years old. Can't complain. So hopefully he has a good season with us anyways. Okay, so as I said, I was going to show you obviously who our next team is. And it is Tottenham, who we're quite used to. We've played them twice now um, in this career mode, obviously in the FA Cup. Uh, first time playing was in the final. We lost to them, which wasn't great. And then obviously we um, beat them uh, in the semis, I think it was, last year uh, to get to the final. So, decent results. Hope we can get the first set of three points finally against Tottenham, hopefully. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's go ahead with it. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can get the three points. Uh, well, that's very smart defending. And now yeah, we have the Individual quality coming to the fore. Um, whether I showed you it before, it wouldn't let me select my player that I actually wanted, so I don't like to make excuses, it sounds like it, but honestly, it wouldn't let me select my player for one or down. It's got to be tough against Tottenham, but it's stupid, it really. It wouldn't let me select my player the one before, so again, whether I showed you it, I don't know. But there you go, 1 0. Well done, finally! It's taken ages. Watford couldn't get a goal somehow. Arsenal, tough test. Obviously, it's going to be tough. Couldn't get a goal. Crystal Palace, absolutely smashed them. Couldn't get a goal. This one. Probably the, the toughest ball I've actually played in this video as well as last video. And it's gone right through and I've just, just randomly hit it. And it's actually gone in. Unbelievable. I mean, well done. Finally. But it's our first goal in the Premier League, so I'm happy with that. But we need to turn this around big time. I couldn't stop that attack, couldn't stop it at all. How they didn't score, I don't know, but wow. Gaming at, at its shittest rate. Fucking hell. Alright, oh, it's another draw. I still haven't won. Four games into it, only two points in. Really, it's going to be a tough challenge. Of course it's going to be a tough challenge. It's not, but it's not like it's not going to be, but the chance that they just had there, how they probably didn't finish the game as winners, I don't know, but... I don't know, I don't know what to say, for some reason we just could not do anything, this game was a very tough match, I expect it to be a tough match, but Christ, I, the thing is it's annoying me, I think 100% should have at least 3 points um, against uh, against Crystal Palace, honestly 100%, but it is what it is. Okay, so the transfer window has finished as well, I went through the, the last bit of the transfer window. Um, it spent 896 million on transfer deadline day, that's, that's crazy. Uh, but we got a lot of offers for Malaysia. Um, we actually got a recent one of 13 and a half million from West Ham. Uh, Tyrell Malaysia is my centre um, left back, um, if you didn't know. Uh, top left back, I mean, my best left back, so I ain't gonna sell him, not now anyways. Um, we had a five and a half million pound offer for Pierre from Levante. Again, decent centre back in him, so I don't really wanna let him go, not that I play him right now. 
Um, but yeah, so that is that. Um, obviously, we have Menezes as well, an offer for him, as well as my youngsters, Rodriguez. So yeah, and that was it for the transfer window. But yeah, it's all good. Okay, so you know what? We're going to play a fourth game. We're going to finish off, um, obviously, this video of a game against Burnley. We're at home again. So hopefully we get three points this time. We've got to start you know, lifting ourselves up. Um, if I go to actually the table, um, it's not as well, it's bad for me, obviously, in some ways. But um, if you see at the bottom right there, Chelsea are actually at the bottom. They've not gained one point. They've uh, scored only two goals. They've conceded 14. Absolutely incredible. Incredible start to Chelsea's season. So they're not doing great. They've got Everton next who are like right next to them. So, um, but three points there will be massive if we can start climbing. Uh, who Burnley sit at the bottom as well with us, so they're not doing great. So hopefully we can start off with them and get three points. Um, so yeah, I mean we've only scored one, which was Sam Watson's goal against Tottenham in the last game, and conceded three. So not doing the worst, but you know we need to get a win. That's it at the end of the day. Burnley next. Let's do this. Play some good football and get the result that we need. God, guys. Get it out, gee, this is crazy. What a start to the Premier League season, honestly. That's it, good play again. Down the right side. And you know what I'm going to do? That's it, Dakar, come on. A start this season, right now, right this game. Against Burnley, deserve the goal, 100%. I mean, to be fair, they were close to going one them up, but finally we can take the lead. And this is what we need. We need to start from this game and uh, start pressuring. Um, I mean, it's, it's a simple ball into the box, obviously, just roll it in. Van Berger's shot in his last effort was not good, so that's why I've decided just to play at Dakar, who can score. Finally, 1-0. Go on. Oh! Much better. It's got to be 2-0, though. Go on, swing it in. Let's get 2-0. Right here. Right. That's it. And on space, there is Watson 2 0. Finally, Watson makes it 2 0. We get the second goal to just give us a bit of comfortable, a uh, bit, bit of comfortableness, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but Jesus, 2 0. Finally, we get that second goal. Honestly, we deserve it. Playing some good football, trying to keep it. It's a great finish from Watson. It's his second goal in the Premier League as well. So that's good. Um, obviously, my main starter now for obviously is still Darren, who is left. For 33 million pounds, uh, but Watson there makes it 2-0. Come on, Dakar. Oh, that was an awful ball in the box. Got to be honest. Oh. I got it back. Van Bergen for 3-0. Oh, I thought it was in. I actually thought that was in. Oh, twat. There you go. 2-0 victory. First Premier League win of the season, and uh, obviously in our history, anyways. And that's all good. It's a 2-0 win. Definitely deserved, could have been more, um, but it wasn't to be. As you see, they were dominated, possession-wise especially. Um, but yeah, so three points in the bag, that's all that matters. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end that video right there. Um, obviously it was good to end on a good, comfortable 2-0 victory over Burnley to take our first three points of the Premier League, which is awesome to take. Um, finally, obviously, off the ground, so we should be on, uh, we're on five points now, so five points from five game. Not fantastic reading, but we only lost one game, so it's not too bad. Uh, we just have to obviously uh, keep going. Um, actually, no, we, we uh, no, we lost two games. Sorry, we lost two. <laughs> um, but yeah, but obviously, just on the screen, as you see right here, just before we do end the video and cut it, uh, we are in the Europa League. I completely forgot actually because we won the FA Cup, so you automatically get a place in the FA um, in the in, uh, in the Europa League, which is unbelievable. Actually, um, I completely, honestly, forgot about it. So what a chance actually to play in Europe um, and uh, this is our group we have, we have Bordeaux, Andek and Rosenberg um, and also our first game um, in the, uh, in the uh, Europa League is against uh, Andelect on the 16th of September which is obviously our next game that we've got to play. So yeah, I'm really happy with that actually, I, I didn't know, it's going to be a, a lot of games to play obviously so uh, we're going to hopefully get through a lot of them. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, so I'm really happy with that, so <laughs> in the Europa League, completely forgot. Um, but yeah, so that is all from your boy Sneevels in this one, so I hope you guys of course enjoyed. Leave a like obviously, um, and uh, subscribe, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys as always in the next career mode video. Peace.